Today we'll learn to make a napkin ghost. Start by grabbing some toilet paper. We're making our ghost head. For a foot, I use three five cent coins. I rolled the paper around these coins. Create a small paper ball. You could also use a ping pong ball. That might work too. After making the paper ball, grab a thread. Wrap it around the ball to firm it. To speed things up, I used hot glue. It will quicken the process, helping to secure the thread. I used a small piece of paper to cool it down too. I secured it with thread and hot glue. We made our ghost's base, it should be firm. I grabbed a napkin, a large one. Use a large napkin or if you don't have one. A piece of white fabric works too. Next I made a small hole in the middle. Pass the thread we fixed to the ball through this hole. It goes through the napkin's middle to form the ghost's head. There's also an important step. That's gluing the ball, so I used hot glue. You might use a different glue. But for quickness, I recommend hot glue. To secure the ball in the center. Now onto the arms. We will use a coin in the arms as well for weight. This gives the doll movement. I glued it and covered it with a small piece of paper. Next, I'm attaching it to the paper's edges. One coin on each side. This creates the arm's foot. I'm using another 10 cent coin. Place it on the side center like this. As shown. Now it's time for the ghost eyes. I used clay for the eyes. My marker ran out of ink while making the video. I improvised with clay which worked well. Just like we did for the ghost's head. You do the same for the arms. I'm gluing a thread only on the front. Small pieces of thread on both sides. Then some hot glue and paper on top to secure everything. I used a marker to fix the whole structure. The head is in the pen's middle and the arms on the side. Attach everything, adjust and it should look like this. See how cool it turned out. My daughter loved the idea. She was entertained for hours until she destroyed the ghost. It's easy to replicate. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And let me know if you tried it and your child enjoyed it.